Welcome and God bless you again today. And now we take you live to Houston, Texas with Word of Faith with Dr. John Newsom. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I thank God for another day. I'd just like to say hello to Brother Tony Gill. And, and thank you for all the great work that you're doing, Brother Tony. And I'd like to say hello to all those who are listening all around the world. I'm Apostle Dr. John Newsom. I'm the pastor of Word of Faith Christian Center Church International at 984 Reverend B.J. Lewis Drive here in Houston, Texas. Come by and worship with us at 984 Reverend B.J. Lewis Drive. I'd love to see your face in the place. Our service starts on Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesday night Bible studies at 7 p.m. Come by and worship with us. Now, if you have your Bibles, please turn your Bible uh, with me to Daniel chapter 2. And let's read verses 19 through 21. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons. Underline that or put a square, a block around that. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know, that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and, and the light dwelleth with him. We'll stop right there. The message God has given me for you today is God changes the times and the seasons. I don't know about you, but that's good news. That's some wonderful news right there. God changes the times and the seasons. Uh, you might have had some tough times lately, but the good news is, this principle is true today, God changes the times and the seasons. He changes things. Oh, glory to God. Uh, you don't have to be concerned about things remaining the same. God changes things. He's a changer of the times and the seasons. Glory be to God. You might be down today, but that's okay. After a while, God's going to change things for you in your life. You might have been going through a rough, rough patch for quite a time, while now, maybe some months, maybe some days, maybe some years, but the good news is God is still the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. God is going to change your time. He is going to change your seasons. God changes the times and the seasons. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. And that's the word God wanted me to give to you today. Now, time doesn't limit God from doing what he wants to do. You're not out of time. Time doesn't limit God from doing what he wants to do in your life. What God has said to you, what he has told you that he's going to do, that is reality. God just has appointed times. He has appointed seasons. Now, let's look at that word, time. That word, time, in Hebrew, is eighth. Eighth. And it's a period of time. It's a appointed time. It's a proper time. It's a time and event, proper, suitable time. God does things at a proper and suitable time. Oh, glory to God. You know, you have to be trained. You know, he just can't, you just can't give your three-year-old a, a card and he's three years old. You have to wait for the proper time, the suitable time. 
uh, maybe like 18 years old when he get his driver's license, that would be a proper and suitable time for you to buy your your son or your daughter a vehicle, but not at three years old. God changes the times and the seasons. That Hebrew word for time is eight, and it means the proper, suitable time. That that Hebrew word for season, that Hebrew word for season is zaman. Zaman, and it's a it's an appointed, it's a fixed time. Don't you know that God has a fixed time that He's going to do certain things for you? In your life, he has a fixed time, an appointed time. It's an appointed occasion that God has fixed to do a certain thing or some certain things in your life. Oh, glory to God. And we know, according to Jeremiah 29, 11, that these things that he has appointed to do in your life are good and not of evil. There are some wonderful things. Uh, that God is, has planned to do in your life. He has them already fixed. They're set to happen at a certain time. God changes the times and the seasons. So I just want to encourage my brothers, my sisters today. Uh, you know, I, I know it could have, maybe it's been a long time, and you have been in a situation for a long time, but you learn all that God wants you to learn. Continue to do what he has you doing right now. And don't get frustrated and mad at God. He's telling you, he's letting you know in his word how he operates. He operates with times and seasons. And God is the one who sets these times and he sets these seasons. And he lets us know ahead of time that's the way he operates. So don't get frustrated and give up and throw in the towel and get mad at God. Just continue to do what he has you doing right now. Oh, glory to God. Knowing that he has a fixed time that he has set to release some great and wonderful things in your life. God changes the times and the seasons. God works with times and seasons. That's how he operates. So don't get discouraged. And God will do it. He's going to do what he's told you, what he's shown you. He's going to do it in his time. God works with times and seasons. We're, we're probably saying, what's the hold up? Well, God works with times and seasons. That's what the hold up is. He works with times and seasons. You just uh, uh, just take it easy. Calm down. Relax. And learn all you need to learn. Do all that God has you doing right now. Knowing, be encouraged by this, knowing that God is going to release some wonderful things in your life at the proper time. Remember, God works with times and seasons. These are fixed times. These are appointed times. That word for season is the mind. And it means fixed time. It means appointed times. God works with appointed times and, and he, he sets certain times that he's going to do things in your life. Now, look at Ecclesiastics. Turn, turn over to Ecclesiastics. I just uh, shared with you, showed you in the word, that God works with what? Times and seasons. That's, that's how he operates. Look at Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and look at verse 1. To everything there is a what? Season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. You see, God works with times and seasons. Now, let's, let's look at our Acts chapter 3. Turn over to Acts chapter 3. The message is God changes the times and the seasons. And that excites me. It's, a, it's just a time thing. God is going, well, I need to just continue to learn all I need to learn, do what God has me doing right now. But he has some more things fixed at a certain time 
to happen in my life. He's going to release some certain things in my life at the suitable, proper time. So I'm just going to learn all I need to learn right now, keep my focus, keep my hands, hands on the plow, and just continue to carry out what God has me doing right now. Acts chapter 3. Turn to Acts chapter 3, and, and, and let's look at verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Times of refreshing are coming uh, to your life, child of God. You just repent and do the things that God wants you to do, be converted, turn to God in holiness, and just continue to do what he has you doing right now. And, and times of refreshing are go going to come uh, into your life. Times of refreshing. God has times that are fixed, uh, certain appointed times fixed, that he's going to what? Refresh you. Oh, glory to God. Isn't he a loving and caring and kind God? Isn't this word of God just encouraging you and building you up? Oh, glory to God. He knows what you need to hear, when you need to hear it. And he told me to tell you today that he changes the times and the seasons. Oh, glory to God. God hasn't forgotten about you. You're tattooed on the palm of his hands. He hasn't forgotten about you. It's just, a, a, it's just an issue of, it's a time issue. It's just a time and season that God does things. He works uh, with times and seasons. And don't you don't have to worry that you're running out of time. You're too old or you, and you know what, too much time has passed. By. You, don't, you don't have to worry about all that. Time doesn't limit God. How old you are doesn't limit God from doing what he wants to do in your life. How old you are doesn't limit God from doing what he wants to do in your life. And you're not running out of time. God is in charge of time. Much time as you want, much time as you as as you need. He satisfies us with long life. He allows us to live until we're satisfied. Oh, glory to God! God changes the times and the seasons. Look at Genesis chapter eight. Genesis. Turn over to Genesis. Chapter 8, God changes the times and the seasons. That's so beautiful, so wonderful to me. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. While the earth remaineth, sea, time, and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Sea, time, and then the harvest at a certain time. At a certain time we sow, at a certain time we'll reap our harvest. Time. God works with times and seasons. Let's look at Exodus chapter 9. Turn over to Exodus chapter 9. God changes the times and the seasons. Exodus chapter 9. And, and let's read verses 1 through 6. Exodus chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if thou, wilt, if thou refuse to let them go, and will hold them still, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep, there shall be a very grievous murrain, and the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt, and there shall, shall nothing die of all that is the children of Israel. And the Lord appointed a set time. There it is. And the Lord appointed what? A set time. Remember, God works with what? times and seasons. He changes things. God changes the times and the seasons. He does things at certain what? Times and seasons. And the Lord appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing 
thing in the land. And the Lord did that thing on tomorrow, on, on, on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died, just like he said when he said it. But of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. See, God set a time to do this. God worked, he did then, and he does now. God works with times and seasons. He's had six times that he is going to do certain things, child of God, in your life. This message is to encourage you. Don't get frustrated. God is just a God that works with times and seasons. He has appointed times and seasons for your life. Stop comparing your life with other people's lives. He has certain times, six times, suitable times that he's going to release and do things in your life. So you've got to stop comparing your life with other people's life. We're individuals. He worked with us on an individual basis. He's God. He can do that. He's taking care of the whole world in situations. And there are certain things that he has fixed to take place in your life at certain times, certain seasons. And they're fixed. So don't you get all frustrated with God. Get yourself all out of alignment. Quit on God and walk away from God and get out of the will of God. No, you continue to do what he has you doing right now and learn all he wants you to, to, to learn. He has a suitable time, a proper time, that he's going to release certain things in your life, but you've got to work with God. You've, we've got to listen to God. You and I both, we've got to listen to God. Work with God, not fight with God and kick against the work. It's hard to kick against God. It's, it's hard to go against the will of God. You can because you have a will, but I wouldn't advise it. Calm down. Learn all that you need to learn. God's going to do some things in your life. He already has them fixed. He's going to release them to you if you just work with God. Calm down and stop getting frustrated and angry with God. God works with times and seasons. Now let's go to uh, Habakkuk. God changes the times, oh glory to God, and the seasons. Isn't, isn't that wonderful? So he's not mad at you at, at all. You know, we just continue to obey God. Work with God, learn what you need to learn. Knowing that at, a, at that sixth time, he's going to release some wonderful things. He's going to refresh you and release some promises that he's promised you. He's going to release them in your life at the time he has set aside for you. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. There it is again. God talks about the times and the seasons that he worked all throughout the Bible. It says right here, back in chapter 2, verse 3, For the vision is yet for what? An appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it look like it's not going to happen, though it look like it's taking forever, what God has promised you, wait for it because it will surely come to pass. It will not tarry. It's going to come to pass. It will surely come to pass. It will not tarry. It's going to happen. Just wait for it. God changes the times and the seasons. He's a good God. He is a wonderful God. Now, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? Number one, we got to wait for it. We got to wait for it. You saw that right here. Wait for it. Wait for God to do what he want to do. He says it right here. Though it tarry, he says what? Wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. It's going to happen. What God has shown you, the prophecy he has given you, the dream he's personally given you, the revelation, what he's revealed to you, what God has said to you, it surely, it surely is going to come to pass. But what do you have to do? You got to wait for it. You got to wait for it. And number two, number two, you got to stay in faith. You got to stay in faith. Let's look at Isaiah 41. Wait for it. Isaiah 40. I'm sorry. Isaiah 40. You got to wait for it. We got to learn 
able to wait. Isaiah chapter 40, and, and, and look at verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Wait. Forward. Wait for what God has promised you, for it will surely come to pass. And number two, stay in faith. Stay in faith. God's already told you and I that we ought to live a lifestyle of what? Of faith. The scripture says in Romans chapter 1, verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live, how? By faith. You're going to enjoy life by faith. You're going to really enjoy life, have a vibrant life, and uh, uh, obtain the promises of God when we stay in faith. Because all the promises of God are obtained how? Through faith. The just shall live by faith, a lifestyle of faith. So while you're waiting for the appointed time that God is going to release certain promises and fix promises and things into your life, wonderful things into your life, number one, you're going to have to wait, and number two, you're going to have to stay in faith. And my third and, and my final point, bless his name. Bless his name. Don't get angry with God. Bless his name. Lift up his name. Magnify his name. Speak well of God. Oh, glory to God. Don't get crazy with God, frustrated and angry with God. Bless his name. At that certain time, in that certain fixed season, God's going to release some tremendous blessings that he already has set aside for you. He's going to release them to you, into your life, at that set time. Look at Psalm 34. Bless his name. Have time. Life is too wonderful and too God is too good for us to be angry with God. Bless his name. Psalm 34 verse 1. The psalmist said here, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. When? At all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, bless his holy name. Bless God's holy name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless your holy name, Father. Uh, teach me and do what you want to do in me. That's what we ought to say to him. Do what you want to do in me. Help me to learn all that you want me to learn. And at that fixed time, at that set time, those who are listening all around the world, God is going to release some wonderful things into your life, the promises of God into your life. The vision will come to pass. It will happen in your life. God changes the times and the seasons. Wait for him. Stay in faith and bless his name. And that's what God wanted me to share with you today. I love you. And until we meet again, remember 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, For we walk by faith, not by sight.
I've been enjoying, man. I've been enjoying the Tony Gill show.